Much for stargazers, Venice was the place to be this weekend as Hollywood's most eligible bachelor, George Clooney, finally tied the knot. The ceremony attended by some of the biggest names in movies, music, and fashion. And the celebration is not over yet. NBC's Keir Simmons has the latest. Hey, Tamron, good Keir, morning. Good morning. These are nervous moments because we're told that the couple have left their hotel, that they are on their way here. More police, more Italian police have just turned up, so we're expecting them any second, uh, perhaps, they need to be here because in the building behind me, they're going to sign the legal documents that will make them for real Mr. and Mrs. Clooney. But through the weekend, they have had wedding celebrations that the bride's father described as grand but simple. Another way of putting it, simply stunning. George Clooney with his new wife wearing, yes, a wedding ring. Proof that he has finally made that lifelong commitment after decades as a committed bachelor. The bride, a British Lebanese lawyer, Amal Alamadine, is said to have worn a wedding dress by the same designer as Kate Middleton. Mr. and Mrs. Clooney married in romantic Venice amid stunning scenery, traveling in a boat called Amore, Italian for love, pursued by the paparazzi. One vessel seemed close to capsizing. He wore a tuxedo for the ceremony on Saturday in front of 150 guests, including Matt, Matt. Matt Damon, Cindy, Cindy Crawford, Bono. Bono and Bill Murray. While crowding onto every canal bank and bridge, thousands of well-wishers. This is not a private place to get married. It's not only not private, it's probably the least private place you could choose to get married if you're a celebrity. Reports say the wedding at a seven-star hotel included classical music from a 12-piece string orchestra and was followed by a five-course meal of lobster and wild mushrooms. But despite the excitement... We enjoyed seeing the paparazzi as much as anything. <laughs> it's claimed the couple requested no cameras for the exchange of vows. Official pictures will apparently appear in a magazine for a large donation to charity. Capturing the moment, this eternal bachelor said, I do. And they're expected any moment now to come around at that corner and head to this official office to sign those papers. She, of course, is an accomplished lawyer, but she will not have experienced the attention that she is getting like this and that she will now have for the rest of her married life. She'll need all of that courtroom poise, Tamron, to mm. deal with all of this in her married life ahead. All right, Kier, thank you very much. And boy, she is. You know, it is so interesting, though, how George Clooney has been so private, mm -hmm. his life mm -hmm. regarding dating, and now he's just like, here it is, the woman I love. <laughs> That's right. Take it's it. Very proud. There was, there it was is. a great yeah. uh, business women's website that says, accomplished female <laughs> a lawyer yes. marries actor. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying online, Carson? They're saying everything.